All right, guys, today I want to talk to you guys about exercise selection, what type of movements you should be doing in your workout program. So the first thing that's going to apply to no matter what you do is compound movements are the single best type of movement that you can do. Whether you're restricted on time, you're training for a sport, you're just trying to get bigger or stronger, a compound movement will always be a better exercise than an isolation movement. A compound movement is a multi-joint, multiple muscle movement. It's going to train all of your stabilizers. It's going to train your muscles to work together and develop the central nervous system motor recruitment pattern, which is great regardless of what you do, where an isolation exercise is only going to train that one muscle. So if you have limited time in the gym, and a lot of people recommend that you should only spend one hour at a time in the gym, compound movements are where it's going to be your best bet. So the next thing you really got to look at is do you want to use free weights or do you want to use machines? Now free weights are intimidating. You really need a spotter and free weights can injure you. You have to worry about them falling. You have to set them up. They're a little bit more inconvenient. They're louder. But free weights are a better choice and here's why. First, Free weights are going to train you to move in a full range of motion. You don't have any sort of bar stopping you from moving in a natural plane of movement. Any machine that you get, no matter how good the machine is, is always going to limit your range of motion. So it will not always apply to a sport or a real world application, whereas a free weight will. Next is your free weights are always going to work your stabilizer muscles. So when you are using a free weight exercise, you are training not only the main muscle, you're also training all of the supporting ligaments, tendons around it, and you're, if you're using the joint, it's really strengthening that joint. You're building a stronger, better joint. When do you want to use machines? Well, again, machines are not going to work those stabilizers, so you could really end up overdeveloping your muscles and creating motor recruitment patterns that are using the muscle in absence of the stabilizers and sometimes without the antagonist, so you could injure yourself. But what if you're injured already? Well, if you're injured already and you want to rehab, a machine's a good choice. If your spotter's not in for the day, a machine's a good choice. If you want to get some isolation work in, you're already isolating the muscle anyways, so it's not going to hurt to use a machine. And then there are movements you just can't do. If you're like me and you can't do a pull-up, you have to use a pull-down machine. You don't really have much choice if you want to train that type of motion. So there are definitely places for machine work in your program, but I would like to see you use free weights and, again, compound movements as the staple of your program. That should be the most important. The next thing that you're really going to have to decide is what are you doing? Are you just doing general fitness? Are you lifting to compete in a lifting sport? Or are you lifting for a, a general sport such as football, baseball, so on and so forth? If you're doing it for general fitness, you can't go wrong with the big three and then add in the overhead press and some rows and pull downs. Big three are your bench, your deadlift, and your squat. Those are all great muscle builders. You just want to make sure you're getting the form right. If you're a power lifter, you're going to make sure the big three are your main lifts. You're going to be doing one of them or possibly a variation in every single workout you do because that is what you're going to be doing to compete. You're going to bench, you're going to squat, and you're going to deadlift. That's it. Make sure you do it. If you're going to be doing strongman, you're going to want to place a lot more emphasis in your overhead lifting than you will on your bench press. So it takes a priority over the bench press in the big three. You're also going to have CrossFit and Olympic lifting. Both of those use Olympic movements, which is your clean and jerk and your snatch. So if you're going to be doing either of those sports, you need to get familiar with those movements. You need to learn them. Now, those are explosive, powerful movements. So if you can hire a coach or you know somebody that's an expert in those movements, get their advice. It will help you a lot if you can get a coach. They're very technical lifts. 
And even if you're in strongman, you're going to want to develop some sort of cleaning ability as you will be forced to clean a axle, a log, sometimes even a dumbbell. You want to make sure you know how to clean weight, although you can use the continental clean. Last is if you're training for an actual sport. Now here's where you really have to look at the movement patterns needed in your sport, what needs to be stronger, and what you're already working. Typically in most sports you want to become more explosive, you want to be faster. Posterior chain work, squats and deadlifts are great for this. You want to make sure that you're not overworking it. So if you are, for example, a pitcher in baseball, all day the pitcher is throwing. They're getting a lot of work in their anterior deltoid. So you don't want to come into the gym and just spend all your time doing bench press because now you're further strengthening a muscle that's already getting a ton of work in your sport. What you want to focus on is rowing or possibly doing some pull downs, getting some balance in the joint. Now, if you're really serious about being a athlete, you really want to go to a certified strength and conditioning coach or specialist, which I am not one, and you want to get their opinion, what is the best thing that you can do? But general, all around, getting better in your sport, getting stronger is always going to work. Getting stronger and getting more explosive will always be better for making you good at a sport. That's all I have. Real quick and easy exercise selection. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll try and make a follow-up video or answer those questions for you. Take it easy, guys.